Hello and welcome to Taste. Today we're talking about a must in Japanese cuisine. It is soy sauce or shoyu. Thierry Voisin, you're a Michelin starred chef living in Japan. Soy sauce is a bit like wine in France, right? There are hundreds here. A little bit like wine, hundreds, even thousands, between 1,000 and 1,500 producers in Japan. We will discover more with a real shoyu expert. A shoyu sommelier, Mr. Takahashi. In his shop near Tokyo, Mr. Takahashi no longer counts soy sauces, the ubiquitous condiment that brings umami, the Japanese fifth flavour, that's savoury and pleasant. This one, which has the clearest colour, is shiro shoyu. From there, the shades are darker because it's aged longer. This one has the most powerful aromas. It is tamari. Can you smell the aromas yet? The ripening, but also the share of soy, salt and wheat determine the flavour and colour of each shoyu. The nuances are striking. Thierry, you have a preference? I have a small preference for sashi coma, good attack, good acidity on the attack, then there's roundness, length. It's a very beautiful product. Its producer comes from the Nagano region. I can give you his contact so he can show you how he makes shoyu. Appointment made in Nagano. The son. The father. At Okabus, shoyu has been part of the family history for 133 years. Knowledge lives through time as microorganisms crackle in the fermentation barrels. My father often said, you have to do the right thing and wait. One year for the taste, two years for the aroma, and three years for the colour. After that, you get a very good shoyu, very thick. The ingredients are simple. Wheat and soybeans from Nagano and Okinawa salt. The wheat is roasted. The soybeans are steamed. They are bathed in spring water and aged for a long time. Three years later, the nectar is manually filtered. A rare and respected know-how. Before, I thought exporting was only for big companies, but times have changed. Traditional shoyu, prepared using ancestral methods, is very popular. That's why we managed to sell it abroad. 